size does matter. So welcome back to the channel, How To Done Right. Today we're gonna get into something important. We're gonna talk about corks, what sizes you need, synthetic, natural. Stay tuned, let's get right into it. So you made your first batch of wine, you're ready to get it bottled, and you come across corks. What size corks do you need to get? Well, there's all kinds of different kinds. You can get natural corks, synthetic corks, and that's what we're gonna cover in this topic and in this video. So stay tuned, make sure you click the like and subscribe button, and don't miss any of these wine videos that I'm gonna give you some great information on. So let's talk about synthetic versus natural corks. I can't give you a lot of information on this. I've read a lot of information on it, but synthetic, uh, supposedly, you know, the plastic, some people say the plastic uh, gets into the wine and gives it an off taste. I can't give any experience because I've never used synthetic. Your wine needs to breathe and that's why you use corks. Uh, it allows some air to get in there and lets the aging process happen naturally. With synthetic quartz, you're just not gonna get that oxidation that sometimes you will need uh, when you're aging wine. That's why I go with the all natural way, natural corks. This is a fun fact I thought you'd be curious in, uh, knowing about corks and how they're made and so forth. I'll try and put a link to the, uh, in the description for a video of how they make corks, but it's a renewable resources. Cork trees uh, can have their bark stripped like every nine years, I think it is, um, and they, the bark will grow back. So these trees are not being killed for cork. They're renewable. The cork trees will live to 200 plus years. So again, it, it's a better choice for the environment than a plastic synthetic cork. Just my two cents on that one. So let's talk a little bit about the length of the corks. Does that really matter, the length of the corks? Really, the length of the cork doesn't matter. It's for aesthetics reasons, you know, where you want to see the cork down in your wine bottle. So the length of the cork really doesn't matter. It's going to be the diameter of the cork that matters. Uh, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Diameter, sizes of natural corks. And yes, also remember, size does matter for winemaking. There's all kinds of different size corks. You got number sevens, number eights, number nines, number tens. Which do you use? I'm gonna show you. If you're seriously thinking about staying in the wine hobby, I strongly suggest you get a good corker. It's gonna save you time in the long run. And number one, it's gonna allow you to put any size cork in your wine bottles from seven to tens, which is what we're gonna cover today. Uh, most commercial businesses are using number nine corks. When you buy a bottle of wine at a uh, wine store, most likely it's a number nine cork because that is going to let it age the best. So let's start with a number seven cork. Why would you ever use a number seven cork if the standard is everybody's using number nines? A seven cork would be to, if you just want to cap a, a, one, a bottle of your wine that's already been open, um, these can be easily hand pushed down into a standard wine bottle. Another issue with a number seven cork is you are not going to be able to uh, sit it horizontally, lay it flat basically, uh, because number seven cork will leak. So what's the basic difference between a number eight and a number nine? Here they both are. You really can't tell much of a difference. One is seven eighths and one is 15 sixteenths inch diameter. Uh, but it's what these corks are used for in the aging process that's the most important. So you might be able to see this a little bit better. The one at the top is a number 10 cork. Uh, it's basically an inch in diameter. Uh, compared to the number eight cork, uh, which is the lower one. So here's the most important fact of when you're choosing your wines. Um, a number seven cork is gonna last you three to six months before it's gonna start turning uh, maybe bad. A number eight cork is going to last you one to two years uh, before it may start to go bad. 
A number nine cork, you'll get two to seven years out of that. And a number 10 cork is way beyond. The cork sizes and the number seven versus eight, is it's the density. So a number seven is obviously going to give you, let more oxygen into your wine. And number 10 is going to give you less oxygen in your wine, which is why it will have longer shelf life uh, than the seven, eights, and nines. So let's get into the corkers. You can see here, I've got a pretty professional model, but it allows you to adjust the height of your bottles. And it towards the top, it will squeeze the cork uniformly um, so they go in easy and another reason I use this corker is because it will put in a number 10 cork no problem that's what I tend to use number 10 corks uh, because mine's gonna have a longer shelf life so one thing you want to make sure is you're always sanitizing your cork so put your corks in uh, your star sand sanitizer or whatever you use for your sanitation uh, you want to let these corks soak for a few minutes uh, number one, it'll make the, e the uh, corks go into the uh, wine bottles a little easier. But uh, again, we'll prevent bacteria. That's why we use star sand. So you can see here why I love this uh, winemaker. This thing will push down. It's spring loaded uh, where you can put this bottle right in and there's no adjustment. Every bottle will fit in here no matter what length and it's perfect for wine bottling. There's another different size bottle. Fits right in there. So you load the cork up there and you just pull the handle down. And you got the cork in there. You just slide the thing down here and you can see right there. That's exactly what you're looking for. You want this to be flush. Uh, with your bottle so that's a perfect wine bottle corked all right I'll, I'll show you a different angle here so I'm loading the cork up on the top and we're just gonna pull the handle down and you can see the cork literally go right into the bottle so easy with this corker you can try a manual one you will not get a number 10 cork in the bottle uh, you can probably get eights and nines but uh, they are very difficult to use. If you're investing in this wine hobby, I strongly suggest you get a good corker, especially if you feel you're going to continue in the hobby. I think this one was about $60, $70. Uh, some of the handheld ones I think are around $19. So it's, it's $50 apart. In my opinion, well worth it if you're going to stay in this hobby. And there you go. Pretty flush. Exactly what you want. You don't want it sticking out. Uh, you want it almost to the top of the bottle. Perfect capping or corking. So how far do you want to fill your wine bottles uh, with wine before you actually cork? You want it down about two inches. So then when you put about a one and three quarter inch cork in there, you'll have about a half inch to an inch of airspace in there. And that's to be honest exactly what you want so the bottom line is is if you're not going to drink your wine right away uh, and you want to maybe let it age naturally on your uh, wine rack go with the number nine or ten it's going to give you the longest shelf life um, and in my opinion ten years from now I, I'm curious what my wine's going to taste like so in closure make sure you get yourself a good wine corker if you're going to stay in a hobby and also figure out which cork you're going to need. Longer shelf life, number 10. If you're going to drink it real quickly and you don't want to store it laying down, get a seven. But recommended eight, nine standard, uh, 10 for stronger, stronger shelf life. I like tens to be honest. So I hope you learned a lot from this video, especially which size corks to use and what kind of corker you need. Just remember the lower the cork size from seven to 10 is the shorter shelf life. A number 10 is going to have five plus year good shelf life and number seven only three to six months. And make sure you get the good corker. You will thank yourself in the long run. See you soon. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more great videos coming your way.